ჩვენ პიონერები ინფლაციურ მარკეტინგს ვერში საქართველოსში და ბოლო ერთი წელია ამ განხრით მოღვაწეობთ. ეხლა გვინდა გავაკეთოთ პლატფორმა, სადაც გაუადვილებთ ჩვენ კლიენტებს კამპანიების შექმნას და გაკეთებას პირდაპირ 14 წუთში. როგორც ვახსენე, კამპანიებს გააკეთებთ, ეხლა გავაკეთებთ ერთი ორი დღე გვჭირდება ფიქსთის და იწელება რეპორტინგი და ყველაფერი. ასევე data driven ვიქნებით პლატფორმის შემთხვევაში უფრო მეტი და 15 წუთში გააკეთებენ კამპანიას, მიიღებენ რეპორტებს real time-ში და შეუძლიათ ასევე გამოელაპარაკონ და გაიცნონ ინფლუენსერები პირდაპირ ჩვენი ჩართულობის გარეშე ავტომატურად. დიდი იმედი მაქვს რომ დღევანდელ ფიშინის მერე მოვიგებთ თანხას, რის მეშვეობითაც უფრო წინ წავწევ ჩვენ კომპანიას პლატფორმის განხრით და უფრო მალე გავაკეთებთ იმას, რის გაკეთებაც გვინდა ჩვენ საერთოდ და წარმოგვიდგენია ჩვენ მომავალში. Hello. Should I start? Hello. My name is Ladi and I want to talk to you about a problem that bothers and I know is all of us every single day. It's called intrusive advertising. When you scroll down the Facebook, you see an ad after an ad and you start wondering when did Facebook or social media companies become like commercial TV? And a commercial TV like and you, which ones you start, stay, try to stay away from every single day. Well, let me tell you about a fun, engaging and cool way to communicate with your customers and audiences in a non-annoying way. It's called influencer marketing. Let me leave you with an example. When Kylie Jenner, and Kylie Jenner is one of the most influential people on Instagram, posted this picture, the company behind it sold $50,000 of jeans in a couple of hours, and their Facebook and Instagram followers skyrocketed. This is a simple example of influencer marketing. We call it word of mouth, in a word of mouth reinvented in a digital era. This kind of content is extremely important for brands, but social media companies like Facebook only let you reach 6% of your followers when you post something on your page. And it's understandable because that's how they make money, because they want to push you to pay the advertising. But then we stumble upon another problem, trust. People do not trust paid advertising and sponsored that as much as they used to. Well, because of this, it, became, it created a perfect storm for uh, influencer marketing. This year, it's estimated that market size will reach 5 billion, and in two years, it will double to 10 billion. Only in Eastern Europe, um, it's estimated market size will reach 600 million uh, by 2022, and we are planning to grab 12 million uh, in revenue by entering eight countries. Uh, how are we going to do this, and who are we? Well, we pioneered last year first influencer marketing agency in Georgia, and already did 30 plus campaigns successfully. We signed up 100 plus influencers exclusively, they can only work with us, and we have three, uh, more than 3 million reach on social uh, networks organically. We even did one viral campaign in California and New York uh, successfully for our Georgian, Tripex, uh, Georgian uh, startup called Tripex. We are very proud to say that we work with global brands like, brands like Coca-Cola, Samsung, and L'Oreal, and we are also super proud to say that we partnered with ad agencies like Windhorse and Livingstone that have aspirations uh, abroad, and among many other ad agencies, and also McCann, the worldwide ad agency. Most importantly, they are our returning customers. For we know that our product works, we know that our influencers love it, we know that our clients love it, so it's now time to scale it. We, for this, we're going to create a platform where our clients can easily log in, create a campaign, launch it, and monitor it in real time. Best thing out of this, it's going to be all automated. And all the influencer marketing, uh, cutting edge influencer marketing solutions at their fingertips. Our business model looks like this. We have two streams of revenue. First one is our customers using influencer marketing platform itself and we're getting the commission. Second one is our consulting and management services, where if our customers do not know how to do influencer marketing or want a better one or want ideas or management, we'll help them out with that. Our client base, we have two types of client base. First one is marketing agencies. Um, and from our experience, that's 80% of our clients because they love to outsource influencer marketing to us. And uh, this is also going to be our uh, entry strategy in other markets because it cuts down our costs because since they have a bunch of uh, customers and clients. 
And the second one would be uh, direct sales to brands, and we estimate it's going to be 20% according to our experience again. This, as an agency, we are able to do 60 campaigns maximum a year. With, a plat with the platform, we'll quadruple this number, and by 22, 2022, we estimate to do 3,000 campaigns in eight countries. And we have, it's a humble number. We're also going to cut down the cost with the platform from commission base of 50% that we have now to 20%. Our competition has been popping up around as well. I want to underline one uh, uh, influencer marketing agency uh, based in Azerbaijan. They raised $300,000 two months ago in Dubai. And this actually really excites us because we knew that our influencers loved it, we knew that our clients loved it, our product is great. Now we can see that our investors worldwide are also keen on investing in this upcoming industry. And this just assures us that we are on the right track. We have a bunch of competitive advantages uh, when it comes to our competitors, when it comes to experience, global clients that are willing to come with us in different markets, and a strong team with defined goals. We asked for 100,000 lorries, uh, half of which go to the platform development to cutting edge solutions. Uh, 20, uh, uh, a third of it will go to advertising at other costs, and the rest of it will go to the staff uh, salaries. Uh, which we're going to hire an amazing and brilliant minds. When we were testing this, uh, our uh, product, we reached last December, uh, we reached 25K in revenue. And uh, at this moment, we are in, uh, in the fundraising uh, stage. We're going to launch our 1.0 version of Platform in September and for Georgian and existing clients. And internationally, we're going to launch it in the beginning of next year. We are also going to we uh, estimate that we're going to have a revenue of $600,000 uh, at the end of 2019. But we're not going to stop here. We're going to have, uh, we're gonna have develop platform further to 2.0 and be at the top of the food chain constantly uh, by, in, uh, by integrating AI and algorithm matching for our customers and influencers. This is our dream team, and this is why we've been successful so, this far. And Georgi has an immense experience uh, in finance and management, working for leading Georgian uh, network uh, uh, telecommunication uh, company, and he's also quite a pain in the ass when it comes to cutting costs. Zico has 10 years of experience in uh, advertising, and uh, she's also a Harvard graduate. Um, Anna has been a lead product, uh, product lead for leading Asian uh, uh, e-commerce platform, Lazanda, and we are, she's more than capable of uh, creating and uh, leading uh, the platform development together with us and me. I worked with, uh, with a uh, leading employer branding uh, company in the world, uh, Universum, and helped them uh, to develop business in Eastern Europe, in Romania, Bulgaria, and Hungary. And uh, when you look at this team, this is why we think that we're gonna, our digital empire we will be extremely successful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love to you. What I don't understand, how exactly, uh, what is the technology? How do you use, uh, if I'm a company, let's say mm -hmm. I'm in the United States e-commerce company, I want to use you, what do I get for $2,000? Uh, platform will be for $1,000 because right now we based our cost, cost in Georgia, $2,000 mm -hmm. because of the GDP and uh, that kind of issues. But for further, when you enter bigger markets, it's going to be a uh, higher price. Okay. Well, so to, answer your question, yeah. uh, to answer your question, when brands are, do, we don't need to come to us, meet us, uh, brief us. We, need, we don't need to go home and like to the office and create, uh, create like matching uh, um, brief, uh, like offers and uh, call influencers, ask them what they uh, want in return and do different things. It's all going to be automated. As a brand, you're going to log in, uh, you're going to create a uh, brief, you're going to sort out what target you want to reach, from which age, which social uh, um, relevance, uh, gender, market, city, and it's going to filter it. You're going to show, uh, it's going to show all the influencers that go directly, data-drivenly, to exactly the target you want to reach. So you, you basically, your differentiator is the network of influencers. Yes. Right? Yeah. And they are Georgian-based. Right now they're Georgian-based, but what we... What industry? Uh, like we, have, we cover all industries. So we cover... Uh, celebrities from micro influencers to fashion uh, to photographers uh, to every single industry we are covering every single one and 
Most importantly, when it comes to influencer marketing, this is the beauty of influencer marketing. You don't have to be a, doc you don't have to, be a doctor to influence people uh, regarding the hospital or like in that industry. It's called halo effect. If you trust me as a photographer, if you trust me as a politi uh, not politician, sorry, <laughs> if you trust me as a uh, fashion industry, whatever I go check in or post or say, it, it affects your imagination of, on that brand. It's called halo effect. So whatever you think no, about that me, I understand. No. I, and I can use like a PR uh, agency and th that works with several influencers and I'll pay PR. So you are basically automating the service, right? Yes, we are, we are as an agency offering the service that you, as you mentioned right now, but what right now we're gonna automate it. So what is the relationship between you and influencer? What do they have to give uh, to you? Like what's the uh, pricing strategy there as well? Oh, what we do is basically we, we are on the uh, commission based. Mm -hmm. So we do not ask anything from influencers. We bring them campaigns that they love and they want to use products and services for free and then we pay them as well. We commission ourselves from brands. So how do you, how do you, you, need, you need a database to determine who the influencers are. Yes. You need, you need to understand that. Normally the way that's done is through big data understanding of social network capability, all right? And, and, and that can sometimes be supplemented with the use of avatars in order to create influence, you know, buzz. How do you do that? Well, that's the uh, fun part about uh, APIs and Facebook and uh, Instagram and other social media uh, free open data. What we're going to do is we integrate and uh, uh, extract all the APIs uh, from, uh, the, from there. And we're going to create a, uh, algorithmic matches that we're going to see who's the best in what. So engage, you, have, you have not done this yet? No, we've done it for Georgia. We've done it for... So you, 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 have, you have taken those APIs? Yes, we've done it. Categorized it? Yes. Um, okay, and, and, and that's your data. Now, tell me how long it took you to do that for Georgia. It took us, because we were manual, uh, manual we did it manually, semi-automated. Right. Uh, we had uh, uh, employed a part-time part uh, IT guy. Mm -hmm. we, we took us uh, to uh, one week to create, not all, when we were creating the agency and we were figuring out what we were doing, it took us to one, to ten, uh, one week to 10 days to summarize everybody that were influential in Georgia, identify them and contact them and hire them uh, step by step later on. Okay, so Georgia is a small country. You want, yes. you want to go beyond that, obviously. Yes. How we, uh, how, you can't do it manually in large no, no, countries, no. okay? So go back to your proceeds and um, do you have really the internal capability? Where, which next, slide? Next one. Uh -uh, the, the timeline. You the 25K, that's for, for the agency. Yes, for, that's so for the agency that we reached no, we're in to December. figure out the difference the between the agency, the agency the from the platform business. Yes. Is this a separate business? Uh, this sorry. is, at this moment, separate business. Uh, right now, we have an, as an agency, we are a separate business. When we're going to create a platform, we're going to help proceeds. out the agency. We're going to integrate it within the agency. Show me the proceeds again. Okay, so no. IT development is 55. Fifty-five. This is not. Just from the grant. Yes, from the grant. Yeah. Right. This, right. This is from the grant. Yes. Yeah. But what are you going to do with that? Uh, what? How do you define? Define for me that IT development. That fifty-five thousand. Yes. Is gonna, we didn't take this number like just. We didn't dream this number. I'm sure we have you offers, did. We What have, is it? We have offers from five different companies, uh, including one Georgian IT development companies. Uh, company, one Ukrainian and one Polish one. What are they uh, going to give you? Sorry? What are they going to give you for that? They, we wrote down the mission of what we want to achieve as a 1.0 platform, what we, uh, in the capabilities of how we want to, it, it to work from start, when you log in, uh, when you search something, when you create a campaign. We created all this in detailed motion and we got an offer uh, approximately from uh, That's in your this platform? Range. Yes. So okay. 1.0 platform desires around this amount of time. Right. 
for 1.0. But I think yeah. the, the challenge you're going to face in other countries, I mean, Georgia is manageable market, right? The influencers, like how are you going to, in the United States, each industry will have like hundreds of different influencers. How are you going to, uh, yeah, thousands of different influencers? Well, that's, um, it's actually quite easy to uh, contact them and uh, sign them up because they're very willing to get really? more Really? No, and I've done this. It's, yeah. not, that, it's not that easy. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, so we're going to categorize them and uh, identify the uh, list of influencers and we're going to contact them and uh, we're going to tell them to... That's, that's why you need to consider... We are not entering US. No, no. You need to consider the, the, uh, the use of avatars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, not quite. Okay, we'll talk about that after because okay. you can't reach all the people you want to be influenced. They're not all going to sign up, but you have to create a fictional one. Yeah, that's one thing that we're going to do is also, right now what we are doing is training people to be an influencers in different industries. Right now we don't have influencers in technical side. People do not know, do not have proficiency in mobile and technology. So right now we are training two, three influencers to become an influencer and get more, uh, more followers. So we have an experience in that as well. Thank you so much. Presentation. I'm going to carry chairs. Check back it was. At the top of the room, I'm going to be media. I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a I am going to talk about marketing company, IRT, social research, and professional company. influence Georgia. Did you know about? We also did the Gitas, a the Swiss. That the company. Got to be a bit. Rapid. We did a good job. That